Hey guys, so this is going to be a review of the Jean Renault Alessandro wig. So this is a wig that I picked up around the sun, uh, Cyber Monday time last year. Um, I had posted on the blog, I was thinking of choosing this one or I think it was Adriana, which is more, a, a little bit shorter, more of a wavier style. And I decided to go with this one because I just love the way she looked in the pictures. But it's always so hard to tell because the models and the pictures are drop dead gorgeous and it's you know, how does it look like on a real life person? I hadn't seen um, a lot of reviews out there or a lot of images. So I thought I would pick it up and I'm so glad I did. So I am definitely a topper girl. I'm gonna be a topper girl for a while, but I love to experiment with wigs on the weekends. Um, so hence why I tried this one and I love her. So the color is a little bit lighter than I would typically wear in the John Renault line. Um, typically I would wear an 8H14, which is a little bit of an ashy medium brown with dark, I believe it's called dark golden blonde highlights. So this is 10RH16. So it's a little bit lighter and a little bit warmer, but I have to say I actually like the color. I tend to go very ashy. That seems to be what works best with my skin tone, but this color, um, really, really, really works. So I think this might be, we'll see, um, my new John Renault go-to color. So here is Alessandra. You can see she is a long wig. Um, not the longest that they carry by any means, um, but she definitely has some length on her. She's got long layers. They're graduated all the way down, some face framing pieces. Um, I actually really like her parted um, on the side, which is how I normally wear my hair. On the web, all the stock photos showed the gorgeous model with um, the hair center parted, and I actually really like the way it looks with the deep side part. So, long wig, long layers. Let me show it to you from the side. Let's see. She falls really nice down the back, and hopefully I don't get out of frame, but let me show you the back. Can you guys see that? A little tangle. Yeah. She just lays really, really pretty. And the choppy layers at the bottom give it, give it a nice little kick. So I really like her. She is a lace front wig. And what the lace front does is allows the hair to be lifted a little bit off the face. So when you don't have a lace front, um, like the Noriko Milan topper that I typically wear, it could sometimes appear a little flat around the hairline. So if I turn to the side, you can see right here, the lace allows the hair to lift off from the face a little bit, which girls with some natural volume um, in their bio hair have that. Mine never did, um, but I'm glad to get it in a wig. So let me show you a close up of the lace front. Do, 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 do. So you can see it looks like the hair is growing right out of the lace. Um, I'm not displeased with this lace front. I haven't messed around with it at all. Um, I would probably take some of my Joan Rivers Great Hair Day powder and blend a little bit of that right onto the lace to blur it a bit. Um, typically I would pluck a hair or two also outside of the lace to help help just make it look a little bit more natural. I haven't done that yet. This is almost straight out of the box. The only thing I did to it is I thinned it a little bit on the side here. So because I tend to wear my hair parted over this way, it sometimes can look a little bit thick on this side and it still looks a little bit thick on that side. I might take the thinning shears to it yet again to see if I can get the density down just a little bit. But overall, I really, really, really like her. I think she looks really, really good. So let me show you, I'm gonna take her off and then attempt to put her back on using my camera um, as a mirror. So let me show you the inside. I hate to see her go. Okay. Ooh. Ta-da, here's me. Um, here is the inside of Jean Renault Alessandra. So you can see she's got the mono top here. It's monodirectional, which means you can part her as I have on the right. You can part her on the left. You can part her down the center. You can see the lace front right up here, temple to temple lace. So it's hand tied at the top and then it's machine wefted around the sides. This is pretty standard of Jean Renault's um, synthetic caps. Um, she is adjustable. She's got, what is it? The Velcro right here. 
So you can adjust these um, probably two inches or so this way or this way um, to help fit your head better. And then she does have um, velvet ear tabs on either side. So you use these to get a snug fit on the sides of the hair. So she moves pretty well. Just swingy style. You will get a little bit of tangling in the back. You will get that with any long wig, be it synthetic or be it human hair. You will have to brush her a couple of times during the day. Um, I initially wore her a few times in the holiday season um, with a black kind of slick coat that I have. I didn't notice the tangling as much, but today I wore her out to lunch with this like raggedy sweatshirt that I have. Um, and it's got a little bit of a texture to it. And I did notice that I did experience more tangles in her. So it's unfortunate, but it's gonna happen um, with long wigs. Synthetic, human, all of them are gonna tangle at the nape in particular. So that's her. She's a gorgeous color. Absolutely gorgeous color. I love it so much. Okay, so let me put it back on, see if I can make do with the camera as a mirror. Always a little bit of an experimentation. Okay, upside down she goes. Okay, can look like cousin it for a second. Find the ear tabs, they're about centered. So this is where she should be approximately. I'm actually gonna come a little closer for a second. Oh, this is actually a lot harder on the camera than I thought it would be. All right. Got a little bit of hair stuck in there. Definitely we need to get in front of a mirror and take a little bit of a closer look, but this at least gives you a bit of an idea. I'm an ear tucker. It's kind of my go-to style. But anyways, there you have it. So she definitely has some volume. Um, I wouldn't say it's the thickest synthetic wig I've tried by any means, but it certainly isn't the lowest density. I actually, I quite like this density. It's, um, to me, it doesn't look wiggy. Um, some people might disagree. I'd hope not. Let me know what you think. Um, but I think this is really an ideal, an ideal density for long, long hair. Um, I just think she's absolutely gorgeous. So there you have it, uh, Jean Renault Alessandra in the color is 10RH16. So far, gets two big thumbs up for me. Um, doesn't take a lot of tweaking. I've only washed her once, so not exactly sure the longevity of her. Um, with daily wear, which I do not do, you should expect synthetics to last somewhere in the three to four month range. Um, she retails, I think, for just over $300. So I typically only buy synthetics when I see them on sale. If I can get them in the low $200 range, um, all the better. But she's a lot of fun. I love her. She shows up really nice in pictures. Oh, and the best thing was there is no dry shampoo on her. This is how she comes. So she's not super fakey, shiny. She just looks like healthy hair. So I love it. I love it. I love it. I recommend it. Would love to see you guys try her and I would love to see some different colors in her. Um, it'd be great to have a huge library of Jean Renault colors as time goes on. So two thumbs up. Give her a try. Thanks for watching.